I just love this book so much. Like he falls head over heels in love with her. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Five stars. It's like making me fall back in love with historicals again and I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Up Books and today I'm here with the start of my historical romance reading vlog. It is Wednesday today. The readathon doesn't start until tomorrow, but I've already started because I am really excited about my TBR also because physically I'm not ready to start but audiobook wise I was so I've already started. This is my TBR plus I had to read Rebellion by Nora Roberts which is actually like under my stack that this camera is sitting on so I'm not going to grab it but I'm really excited for these. I don't even think all of these are what I'm going to read. I definitely probably won't read this one but my audios are these two and probably another one because I'm definitely going to get through more than two audiobooks in the next five days but I started the Highlanders Forbidden Bride today and Miss Lily's gonna come see me and it's good so far so it's about he was kidnapped throughout the books this is book four I've only read I think book one and so he was kidnapped and he fell in love with a servant who would help him and he escaped he wanted to go back for her she was murdered so he is trying to get revenge on the woman responsible for like all of that and that's how it's going so far he's gonna fall in love with the woman that he wants revenge on and it's good so far I don't want to spoil anything because I feel like I could definitely spoil something if I talk more about it but he's super angry at her but there's like an attraction between them he got lost because he got injured and she tracked him down and helped him I think the pacing is a little too fast for me right now like I'd want a little bit more time spent on certain things but so far I'm enjoying this I am gonna start physically I think first the Teresa Medeiros just so I finish it and then probably the nor roberts and then i really really want to get to the joanna lindsay those this readathon and then dangerous by minerva spencer i also have an audio and yeah she is like shunned by society because she was in a harem and then like the guy died so now she's moving back to try to to england to try to have a season and i think someone is going to help her his two wives have died mysteriously already though which i love a good hero who has like a mysterious past so those are what i'm reading i do need to finish though uh the company of fiends i think by Catherine moon for my book club us this weekend but it's Wednesday today. I am so excited to read historicals moving forward because my physical TBR at least, all my TBR, I'm super excited. I would love to get to this one, look how pretty, but I probably won't, but we'll see. I have six books I want to read in four days, four and a half if we count today, but we'll see if I do that. I gotta go work out and then I'm gonna cozy up on the couch and spend time with my sister because she has a night off and my puppies and read and watch Beverly Hills tonight because the second episode of the reunion is on tonight. I have a puzzle I want to get working on. So very exciting plans. I can't wait to read all the historicals. Hi guys, it is Thursday. I never like how my hair looks. Uh oh. Hi Darcy. <laughs> Do we see this dog? Hey, no. Okay, but Miss Lily's in my lap. So what are we gonna do, Miss Dar? She's like mid stretch. Do you see this? You're so stiffy. You lay down. Hi everybody, it is Thursday and I did work out today so that's why my hair just looks absolutely fabulous. Gates up because neighbors have their dogs out so Lily was barking bloody murder. But I did finish a book and I'm giving it three stars. I finished the Highlander's Stolen Bride. It was like 
it was okay. I wish we had like flashbacks to when he was captured because that was such an integral part of this book and he kept on referencing it, but we never got to like see actual scenes and I feel like I would have gotten a lot more out of it if we had those flashbacks or like the first like 10, 20% was him kidnapped. And then we get onto the rest. I would have loved that, but I think it was pretty good. I don't know. I just didn't love the pacing and like they did fall in love and it just felt like so much happened and not a lot of time was spent on the things that were happening. <laughs> so like he would get hurt and then it'd be over like in a page. She would get sick and then be over like in a page. And I'm like, we can have some character development. We can have some plot development. It's totally fine. So I just feel like the pacing was off. I would have loved seeing him fall in love with the servant that he did. That was super sweet to him that he was like so hung up on. I would have liked that, but got a little bit of like suspense at the end, but overall more of a three, maybe three and a half because I did like the second half, but I want a little bit more connection between them. So first book done, I am going to be reading Rebellion. I was still reading In a Company of Fiends, I think it's called by Catherine Moon on my run. I'm so bored by that book. I'm 35% in and I want to DNF, but it's for my book club. So I don't know if I should DNF or not because I DNF'd my Historical Hellions for last month and I feel really bad DNFing books for book clubs, but oh boy, I'm so bored. And it's like 500 pages that book is, but I'm reading this one. I have high hopes. Christy from Christy Reads A Lot read it and she liked it, but she just read our group pick and gave it five stars. So I'm very, very excited. Christy flies through books, but I'm going to be reading this. I have reading sprints with friends tonight, which I'm very excited for. And I do have an audio. I think I'm going to start the Minerva Spencer audio next because I'm very excited for that. So I was just doing my puzzle and finished that audio. So the puppies were being very upset. Like, look at them. I literally just sat down and they are obsessed with me. So I'm very excited. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm getting my hair cut. And that's really all my plans tomorrow. I just finished up the last crumble cookie I have. My sister and I usually get four and we make them last a few days because we eat like a half at a time. So that was my last one from Tuesday. And yeah, I'm just gonna read more Highlander goodness. I am really loving historicals right now. Even though the one I just read was a three star, I still had fun reading it. So I'm gonna read this. I have a ton to read in the next like five days, but that's okay because I have my school's book club that I have to have done by Tuesday and it's a 500 page fantasy. But you know what? It's fine. We're just going to have a good time reading historicals this weekend. I do have the Ohio State game on Saturday to go to my parents' house. So you'll see all the puppies. I'm so sorry if it's annoying with all the puppy content I give you, but like I'm obsessed with my dogs and they're literally the only people I hang out with. So that's what you're going to get. But I am going to go start reading and get ready for my sprints tonight, which I'm very excited for. And bless you. Deal with a jealous puppy. Do we see her? She's jealous. What? She's like, I don't know what to do now that your lap is taken by this puppy. Lily is taking her territory. She's so silly. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow because I don't like updating after my live shows because it's always like 9.30 and I wanna just wash my face and go to bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just got this new chair. It's in my office area upstairs. I redid this area. It's a little messy right now. Um, and I had filmed it for my members, me rearranging all of this. I got a, these are giveaway prizes. I got to pick my giveaway winners for the Penelope Douglas book surprise for Catherine Cowles when I get to meet her and I have to put those away from when I was doing my annotating. But look at this chair. It is so big. And I saw it on TikTok for people who like to sit cross-legged while they work, which I do. So I'm very excited for that. This whole thing just looks so cute. Hi guys, so this is gonna be a little quick. I have a haircut in 10 minutes, I have to leave for it. And I just got home from work. I walked my dog with my sister and then I built that chair, which I love. I wanted a cozier work from home space. And since I do a lot of stuff um, for my channel and stuff, but I came home to book mail and it is perfect for this vlog because it is Joanna Shoop. So Joanna Shoop's new book came out and she wrote a, a cute message to me. She included stickers from the anthologies that I have by her and then another, I think she had a tennis book. I didn't read the tennis book, but I'm so excited because I have requested the night galley for over a month and I posted on Instagram like, uh, why is Avon ignoring me? And so Joanna reached out and she's like, I can just send it to you. And I'm like, thank you. You're amazing. I might rearrange my TBR. After we read the group book, I might just jump into this one because I'm so freaking excited. Oh my gosh. And people have said it's really good and I love her so much. And so I have her new book in my hands and I'm mm, freaking out. So I'm excited, but 
I have updates for you. I'm about 200 pages into Rebellion by Nora Roberts and there's only 300 pages and I feel like I love the tension between them because he is British or English working for the Jacobites and so he is on the like Scottish side of their whole rebellion going on and he returns to his friend's home and the prologue starts out though with the British assaulting the heroine's mother while her brother and dad are away hunting and she is like horrified and scarred by it and she hates the British and so he shows up with her brother her brother gets wounded they have to care for him and the brother's like oh she's a spitfire though like be aware of Selena or Serena I don't remember I think it was Serena I think it's like serene serena and so but they have like instant chemistry together and she hates him he is like infuriated by her but they like really like each other not a lot's happening in the plot i really like the romance she calls him sassanac she like hates him because he's british and that's like a common theme and a lot of scottish highlander romances i read but not too much is actually happening in the plot so right now it's sitting at four we'll see some things are starting to happen because he's gonna leave now for something so i do really love though just like the flowery writing that was so prevalent in the 80s and 90s and old school historicals especially when it comes to like the intimate scenes it's really funny and I really like their connection and I really like how she's the one like begging him for it so there's lots of consent in here and it's just really really good so hopefully things happen pick up with the plot so I can give us a higher rating but I also am reading the Minerva Spencer which I have over here oh I left them over there I have reading uh whatever this one is um Scandalous by Minerva Spencer I'm five hours into the audio and I have about six and a half left and this one's also boring like there's not a lot of plot happening and I've listened to five hours of this audiobook so like there's an obvious attraction between them she was on a ship that she was kidnapped on and then privateers took it over and took her and so she is like falling for the privateer captain but I thought it was supposed to be like about her then going into society and having like a season and like being kind of ruined because people knew like she was kidnapped and stuff but that hasn't happened yet and like he's contemplating taking her and and they're just like dancing around each other she's teaching him like she thought he didn't know how to read and was like fixing that problem and they're just like hanging out and I hate romances where they just like hang out together I'm like okay but like do something so I'm a bit bored with this audiobook which is sad because like I thought it was gonna be really good because I'd heard such good things about this book and Minerva Spencer but I'm a bit bored so I do though have really high hopes for Years Until Dawn because I loved the other Teresa Medeiros we read for my book club and it was so so good and I am really excited for this now but I also really want to read the Joanna Lindsay so this doesn't come out for a while so I might push this off just a little bit because I have been meaning to read Prisoner of My Desire for months and it sounds like it's gonna be really really good so I might still read those two I don't know what audio I want to do next I was thinking Grace Calloway but I don't know I also have um, Cheris Michael's new one and maybe I'm gonna look though and see what my friends are reading and see if they've, any of them have read like a really really good historical because I need that because I've already read The Highlanders Forbidden Bride I talked to you about that three and a half stars gotta return that audio so like on audio oh but I do have some uh, um Lorraine Heath and I do have Elisa Kleypas so I don't know what I want to listen to, but I have to go get changed because I have to leave in five minutes. And then I'm going to pick up some Chinese for dinner. And then tomorrow's a busy day as well. So it's a very busy weekend. And then I have Vegas the next week and I feel like I have no time to do literally anything. Because I have three book clubs and then my school's book club on Tuesday. I have Roush by Romance, which I, have, I need to read half of the book by tomorrow. I have My Rebellion, which I'm good with. But then I have Your Storm at Dawn, which I have to read by Sunday. And then I have my school's book club, which is a fantasy. So... Ugh gonna take me forever to read these so i have similar in heath i have cold hearted rake but i think i want to save that for a different video i'm doing because i think people really like that one and then i have a duchess by minute i don't know what i want to read i need something like really good so i might look at reviews and see what other people are reading and pick up a different audiobook but we'll see okay i'm gonna get my haircut you probably won't see it until tomorrow because they never know how to style it and it looks just gross so i always put it back up so yeah and i have lots to do lots of videos to film to catch up on because i won't be here next weekend it's gonna be busy you probably are tired of me talking about that but i'm gonna go and i'm just so excited about this oh, i'm so excited all right i'm gonna go and give me a haircut
Okay, hi guys. Um, I just carried Darcy upstairs, so I'm a little out of breath, but hi. Um, I'm annoyed because I was listening to my audiobook more, and I was like, this synopsis to this audiobook <laughs> makes no sense. I'm reading the wrong book. I literally only have four hours left in this, like, 11 and a half hour audiobook and I finally was like I need to look at these titles the book I thought I was reading was dangerous that's not the book I'm reading oh my gosh I'm so annoyed because dangerous has really good reviews I was just like this isn't good I'm like it's a three-star read so far I'm very annoyed I'm reading scandalous which has a 3.7 rating average on Goodreads which makes so much more sense so I'm not reading what I thought I was reading. And so we've gotten to the part where she is now in society. Sorry if you can hear Darcy. She's burying herself in my covers right now. Having the best time. You, what, no. So it's just like fine because right now he's like living at a brothel and mad about her because she was also a virgin. He was like obsessed with her and things happened. And then now she's back in society and he's all mad. So like it's fine. Like, I don't know. It's just like. I can't find myself caring about any of the characters or the plot right now, so, and I only have four hours left, but I did. I heard the new Stacey Reed has a new narrator. So for the, my darling Duke, hated the narrator. So the next two I physically read, were there, have there been two, is this book four? So book four came out, and the audio is only eight and a half hours long, and my Hoopla has it, so I just downloaded it. My problem is I have four hours left of Dangerous, not Dangerous, Scandalous, and I don't know I don't know. I want to go on my run tomorrow, and the problem is I need a good audiobook when I run. So I might start Stacey Reads while I run, walk my dogs to Scandalous, listen to Scandalous in the car ride to my parents' house and back home, and then I'll have finished Scandalous. So, but then I have to like jump back and forth, but like I don't think I can run to Scandalous because I just don't care about the plot. But I only have four hours left, so like I have to finish. But I am going to try to go to Dick's tomorrow morning to get a Yeti tumbler because I've been drinking tea in the morning and I got a really cheap like $10 tumbler from Target. It already broke. I have not dropped that mug. I've used it maybe like twice a week for the past three weeks and a piece of plastic broke off of the slidey part so that will like come off now and so I'm gonna invest in a Yeti. Check out what Dix has to offer and maybe I'll take you along with me. I also want to look at their different water bottles and cups and stuff. So they open at 9 tomorrow. I have to be at my parents' house by 11. So I should be able to go there, come back, get my dogs, go to my parents' house. But I've been reading more of Rebellion. I actually read like 50%, a little less than 50% of In a Company of Fiends today or A Company of Fiends for my book club tomorrow because I just have to get that done. So I read up to 80% of that. So I only have 20% left to finish tomorrow, which I can definitely do tomorrow. I did get my hair cut. I'll show it to you tomorrow. But I read more of Rebellion. I have 80 pages left. It's very, very insta-love and very, like, dramatic love, which is common in older historicals. And, like, a lot of side characters have insta-love, too. But I really like how much they fell for each other, but they still, like, bicker and banter. But still plot's just okay we have like things happen very quickly and i do appreciate how protective he is of her and how he kills someone in her honor it's just really good so far and i really like the whole scotland setting and during this time period so with like the jacobite rebellion and everything i'm gonna finish this hopefully tonight and i do have yours until dawn which i'm kind of tired though Ugh, i stayed up too late last night and had to get up at 5 30 but darcy woke me up at 5 20 this morning but Oh, look how pretty i'm really excited for this one so I definitely want to start this and i want to finish this tomorrow but we'll see i'm excited now that i'm gonna start the stacy read though i have no idea what the plot is but I'm very excited for that audiobook and it's short enough that i think i'll finish it definitely by sunday as well so my goal now i've finished one three four five six books this week in four days we'll see if i can do it we'll see but darcy's ready to go to bed i'm gonna wash my face cuddle up finish rebellion definitely tonight hopefully we'll see i always say that and i never do it
guys i'm here with my new short hair i always underestimate or like doubt my hairdresser and that's why i always go back to her because she's always spot on so i'm like i want it around my shoulders and but when it's curly and she's like oh i got you so when she was cutting it it was still like here and i was like oh my god that's still so long but then i'm like she knows how to cut curly hair and so it's here it's around my shoulders it looks good so shout out to london who is just the best but i've already uh, had a little bit of a busy day it is about 10 15 i have to head to my parents house at 10 30 so this is like a quick update between things i'm wearing my fabia sweatshirt and i woke up i ran three miles i walked my dogs i went to dick's sporting goods and field and stream right next door which actually had what i wanted and i picked up a new yeti which i showed you guys and these stores don't have prices on things so i was looking at their stanley cups and i had to go like online to remind myself how much they were i recently got a 30 ounce stanley though that i haven't tried out yet so i didn't want to buy any of the 40 ounce ones they had because i don't drink that much water but i wanted to get a smaller hydro flask and my sister has one and i use that on some of my trips this summer and my normal water bottle i use is bigger and so i was like i need just like a smaller like 30 i think it was 32 ounce water bottle to take on my trips because i'm going on at least two more trips this year and then i have have like four trips planned already next year five I don't know I have a lot of traveling going on the next year so I was like I need a hydro flask with a straw I don't like the twist off lid so I was looking at them no prices but I'm like it's a Stanley cups like 40 bucks this isn't gonna be that much it was $50 for a 32 ounce hydro flask I still bought it because I needed it but I was just like what the heck I was annoyed that there were no prices anywhere even my Yeti I only knew how much it was because I was looking at them online before I came into store and they only had like five colors and they weren't even like good colors so I got yellow because like bright and happy I try to make myself feel happy when I have to go to work but I wanted like this mauve pink that one of my co-workers has so I might put that on my Christmas wish list I don't need a ton of like tumblers right now Tervises, whatever they're called i have my one well i have like four now but since i use one every day at school but i got those and i showed you some clips but i did start oh my gosh you guys i started the new stacy reed it is phenomenal like i was so into it when i was running that i actually continued to listen to it on my walk before i was like wait no i have to go finish this other audiobook so i love it her brother is losing like all their money she had a really big scandal when she was 18 she tried to elope with someone and it didn't work out so now her reputation's ruined their i think their parents are dead and so her brother has no way of supporting them so he tries to go and gamble for money and then he tries to cheat someone is catching him cheating so he accuses them of cheating so they have a duel and she's like you're gonna die like she's like you're not good enough to beat this guy in a duel but she's good it's like with the rapier with the swords she decides to go in his place by a situation which was hilarious i don't want to tell you and she goes in his place and fights this duel and wins but i believe the guy she fights though is her love interest he's like some titled guy he's a lord i don't remember what he is but he ends up figuring out she's a woman and is impressed and he's like why don't you be my new secretary so she's working for him and it's so 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 good so far that's all i got so far but i'm loving it it's funny and it's just everything i want in historical romance but i'm trying to force myself to finish this i'm finishing scandalous i was doing my puzzle i finally finished it my sister stayed up way too late after work this morning trying to work on it and she's like just finish it for me so i finished it and i'm an hour and a half left of scandalous by Minerva spencer the romance is getting better like they're pining after each other and and I'm almost done with it. I'm going to finish it on my way over to my parents' house because it's a little less than a 30-minute drive there. So I should finish almost all of it, and then I'll be done. And then I can read the rest of my Company of Fiends book and then read the rest of Rebellion and then start your slow down. So I have lots of reading plans. I usually read during the Ohio State game because there's so many pauses and football is infuriating. So many commercial breaks. So, yeah, I'm going to read during that. But I have to go because now I only have seven minutes to film a quick TikTok and then head to my parents' house. So I'll show you my puppies and I'll probably have to eat at night. I'm like balancing you on this chair right now and hopefully it stays there but I am getting ready for my live show my computer 
computer's not charging. I'll figure that out. Um, anyways, I plugged my computer and it's not connecting to the charger, but I finished two things. So I gotta update you. I went to my parents' house today. It was a lot of fun. Ohio State dominated the game and it was really, really messy at the beginning though. So that was a little concerning, but I finished the Minerva Spencer on the way there and the ending wasn't bad like I actually ended up liking the ending and how that all played out and how they finally got to be together and he finally was like admitting that he was okay with his past and like how people saw him now and the middle though was just too slow so I think I'm gonna give it three three and a half stars I am wanting to read book one it's sitting over there and I'm really mad that I like, picked the wrong book but it's fine it's fine I read him on Spencer and I know her books are okay and I feel like with a better plot I would like it so I definitely want to read Dangerous still but Scandalous three three and a half stars so that's two books then I read Rebellion I finished that um it's over there it was a three and a half star read so I feel like the start of this readathon is not going strong but I feel like it's gonna end super strong so this one's three and a half running up to four and good Rizzo because I still really liked it I liked the whole we hate each other because like one's Scottish one's British and like Culloden's happening the British guy's a lord but he's like on the side of the Jacobites and so he's helping them out but the middle got a little bit boring and then we got a lot of Culloden and I know that it happened and it just like horrifies me to read about it and see it over and over again and I'm just like I know so many people died and I don't want to read more about it so I don't like it when we get those like really descriptive scenes of the battle like war itself I hate watching like war movies and like seeing so many people die at once is just like I don't need to see that like I'm aware that that happens and I just like don't like that in my romances so it's just like very graphic like and it's different than like other dark stuff that I read like this isn't a dark romance and so I didn't love like how much like the political talk we got and like delving into that because I feel like it did take away from the romance and I didn't need to see all of that happening and like I get that was part of the plot but it was just like really hard to read from their perspective of all these people like being slaughtered by the English. So I also think it was super over the top insta love and then they were like using all that flowery language like oh you're like I can't breathe without you kind of thing. So it was just good. Um not like the best but it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't cringy. It wasn't like hard to read. It wasn't like I hate any of the characters. So I'm making home okay. I'm, I'm just like how am I doing on time? I still have not gotten my link from Lacey yet so I'm good. But I so I finished those. I'm starting Yours Until Dawn and I love the cover. I love the step back and this book she is the nurse for a blind and scarred earl. Is he an earl? Mm, oh my gosh it's so good. So he was in the military and unless he was a Marquess. I feel like it said his dad was a Marquess so I don't know what he is but he's very damaged and angry and he was in the military. He was like a ship captain and he was won this battle but he lost his sight and now he has like a huge scar on his face so his fiance left him. He just like runs around his estate like all angry and like scares off any uh, uh, nurse he has and so our heroine is his nurse and it's gonna be so good it's kind of giving me like romance in the duke vibes and I'm loving it so far but I'm only 20 pages in and then I started the Stacy read I think I talked to you guys about some of it already I was reading more so I'm almost halfway through so good still so far so much tension between them the hero like doesn't know what to make of the heroine and I am loving it so hopefully I still love it I'm definitely gonna read it when I run tomorrow and when I walk my dogs tomorrow and then tomorrow though I have a lot to get done um I'm definitely having to pre-film a lot because I'm out of town next weekend so I have to make sure like my two weeks worth of videos are good to go and take Instagram pictures and then I have two live shows so I do have my live show tonight which is gonna go until 10 and I want to read so much more of this I'm probably gonna read 10 pages and fall asleep just being honest with you I want to try to get to like 100 tonight but you know when I go to read in bed I'm probably only get through like 10 more pages but high hopes for reading tomorrow though because I'll, all my plans are is to get up run walk my dogs and then read and then have lunch and then film after lunch but I only have two videos I want to film I might film three I'm not sure yet because I ended up filming one today that I wasn't planning on so we'll see how that goes when I have a live at four and a live at seven and this has to be done by seven but I feel like I'm not going to be like forcing myself to read it because it's just so good so far and it's got that dynamic with the grumpy hero and like the heroine who's like you don't scare me so we'll see how it goes but yeah Lacey just messaged me about uh our live show so I'm gonna go 
and get on there and I'll chat with you guys later. Hello everybody, so I got a new tripod and I can like hold my camera while I am talking to you instead of like physically holding my camera So we'll see how I like it. It's pretty cool so far I feel like it's more steady, but I feel like as I say that it's not gonna be but happy Sunday. I have my clinch Sweatshirt on I have miss Darcy in my lap if you can see her she's super happy now that i'm cuddling i start, have started drinking tea and when i drink it in the mornings we don't have like an end table because our couch there's no room we have a table over there but like i sit here with darcy so she's mad that i don't cuddle with her i'm drinking my tea at the table but i am like a hundred pages into this it is so freaking good like i cannot stop reading it i've already read 80 pa 90 pages this morning and i cannot put it down i got to like page 25 last night and then i fell asleep which is no surprise because i was a little distracted by tiktok last night so i did not put my phone down until like 10 45 so i should not do that but i had a super fun live show with lacy chatting all about monster romances even though we both did not love our book that we chose but i have two live shows today i listen to a lot of the stacy reed but i'm gonna talk about this first this one it's so good so she is hired as his nurse he is scarred and blind and he's super super grumpy and like brooding and damaged and she is like very fiery and she's like i'm not gonna listen to you i'm gonna do what i want she's like opening all the drapes and she's like dusting every room moving things out of his way trying to make life easier for him and he's so angry and I love how she pushes his buttons, but like he's now like living and like interacting and doing things because of her. It is so good. I'm like obsessed with her dynamic. He just tried to stop her from doing something and like realized they were like her back was against his chest and like the tension, amazing. Like I don't know why I've been sleeping on Teresa Medeiros because I read her one book last month and was obsessed and now I'm obsessed with this. I need to read like her entire backlist now because I'm obsessed. So I don't know if my library has any of her audiobooks, but I will check. But I did uh, read more of this Stacey Reed book. I was interrupted. My mother just called me. She's at Joanne's though right now because um, they had something I need on sale. So thank you, mother, for doing that. She's probably watching this. So hi, mom. My mom did read this though and she loved it, but I wasn't talking about that. I'm talking about Stacey Reed. So the hero, literally one of his friends was was like ooh, i like your secretary and he's like touch her and i will literally cut off your hand and he's like haha ha. and he's like no i'm being serious so he is very much touch her and you die they have a lot of chemistry together definitely more spicy in this one which i love i love stacy reed's romances though she always has really good banter and chemistry between her characters so i don't want to spoil too much though i only have like an hour and a half left of the audio so i'm gonna spend my morning reading this though it's already 11 though so i'm gonna have lunch around 11 30 prepare for some videos film some videos take some instagram pictures and then maybe start a new puzzle i do have a disney christmas puzzle i really want to get to we just finished our fall one so that was the only fall one we had. I do really want to start one of the Christmas ones we got. Because if I do it now, I can do it again in like two months. So thinking that through. I am going to go though because I want to read more. And I want to read more before I eat lunch. So Miss Darcy's just appreciating the cuddle time. And I'm loving this book. So I will chat with you guys when I've read some more.
Hello everybody, I have my dogs literally staring at me. I have the longest ride on, long story. I was doing our live show for the Historical Romance Readathon and it came up like talking about movies and stuff and I don't even remember how this came up, but I was in a movie and it's like not that exciting. I mean, it is really exciting, but I was not like in a movie. I was an extra in a movie. I was in The Longest Ride. I used to be obsessed with Nicholas Sparks. I don't like his books anymore. I used to love his books and The Longest Ride was filming right next to where I was on vacation with my family. We were at Myrtle Beach and I saw there was like a casting call like for unpaid extras. Anybody could show up and join if you signed up, so... I signed up. My dad was the only one who wanted to go with me. My entire family was there and he was like, I'll go with you. Love my father for that. I love him anyways. He would always do stuff for me. So we went and got to be in the background. I'm literally re-watching it right now. I'm at 526. If you pause it, I'm in the blue tank top in the background. So it was a lot of fun. We got to, I got to see Scott Eastwood in person and I got to see Nicholas Sparks there and we got to see him pretend to get on a bull and then we got to see like the actual stunt double bull rider ride and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, fun fact about me. It was 2014 when it happened. How am I that old? Like eight years ago is when this happened. I was between junior and senior year of college because I remember senior year my dad came up to watch the movie with me. So it was in theaters and he drove up and we watched it together and got lunch and then he came, went back home and it was a two hour drive for him there and two hours back and he came to spend the day with me. So super fun memory but I wanted to rewatch it also because Elsie Silver has me wanting all the cowboy romances, bull rider romances. But I'm here to end this vlog. I have 50 pages left of yours until dawn and I know it's going to be a five star read. I'm obsessed. Like it is so good and and right before the live show, I got to the plot twist and I was freaking out with Lisa there. Lisa was like, are you okay? And I was like, mm. they both have already read it. And I just, if the live show was like literally 30 minutes later, I would have been able to read through it. But it's okay. I didn't finish it, which I acknowledge happened but oh my god i'm obsessed with Teresa medeiros now like i want her entire backlist super excited to read more from her i was already like perusing ebay to see if i could find more of hers but i'm very excited that i'm loving this like the angst and the last like 100 pages are so action-packed and i'm like what the heck is gonna happen because they were telling me i did ask Lacey and lisa to spoil it like tell me what was gonna happen because i don't care but i like so much is still gonna happen and i'm dying and there's a cute dog in there and definitely beauty in the v spy and I just love this book so much like he falls head over heels in love with her and it's like cheesy but like the good cheese oh my god I'm obsessed I'm obsessed five stars it's like making me fall back in love with historicals again and I'm so excited so all I want to do is read historicals now even though I have to read a fantasy next in some other books but so so good I am so happy I read this so I overall read five books Unless you also count the Catherine Moon and Company of Fiends, I also read that one. So it would be six. So that's technically monster historical, but five full on historicals. Three of them were like three, three and a half star. Though I feel like I want to up my rating for Rebellion to four after my live show. Talking about it made me appreciate it more, and I already ordered the original cover because it's really, really pretty. So I want to move that up to four, and I also want to read more Nora Roberts now. Am I going to turn into a Nora Roberts fan? I don't know. I appreciated this book, so I want to definitely read more by her. I might do a reading vlog. Let me know if that's something you want. But I have two absolute five-star reads. Like the Stacey Reed and the Teresa Medeiros blew it out of the park for me. Love them so much, so I'm very excited that I love them. But five out of five stars. Five books out of four days. Not bad. Technically, I read six because I had to read that Catherine Moon, which was 500 pages. So a lot of my reading time went to that. I could have read another complete historical, but I did not get the Joanna Lindsay, which makes me really sad, but hopefully I can pick that up soon. And yeah, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed a look in my life. I hope you enjoyed some historicals. Let me know if you read them. Let me know if you participated, what your favorite read of the readathon was, and if there's a historical you think I absolutely have to read, let me know. If you have another Teresa Medeiros favorite, let me know. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.